Hello, everyone. Welcome back to school. Um, we are going to give you some information about resources and suggestions for a successful school year. So as you embark on this new school year, we're here to guide you through the exciting journey that lies ahead. In this presentation, we want to offer valuable insights, tips, and strategies to make this year your best one yet. From setting clear goals and managing your time effectively to actively participating in your education and embracing the diversity of our school community, we'll cover the essential aspects that contribute to a well-rounded and fulfilling school experience. And we wish you all the best. First off, if you're feeling nervous about returning to school, this applies to students as well as educators, get organized. So plan out your first week. Um, hopefully you visited the school last week to get more comfortable with uh, the, the school's uh, facility and the people in the school, meet teachers before the first day. And, and definitely this week, um, try to get oriented to uh, uh, the people and places in your school community. Identify possible solutions for any worries or fears that you have about the school building, about uh, school activities, and develop an action plan for managing. Take some time to transition. This is a huge transition from summer to the school year, from home to school, make sure that you join clubs, groups, teams, so that you can build a sense of connection, belonging, and community within your school. Get support. Know what supports are available in your school, um, the people who are there to work with you and support you, and talk to them about any concerns that you have this first week and through the school year. Learn some coping exercises, breathing, grounding exercises, so that when you're struggling or you're feeling nervous, you don't know what to do, that you um, feel more capable of uh, working on maintaining your uh, well being. Everyone's mental health is important. Good mental health allows you to feel, think, and act in ways that help you enjoy life and cope with its challenges. Mental health impacts our emotions, thoughts, moods, and behavior. Understand and take care of your mental health in the same way you would take care of your physical health. Maintaining health and wellness requires skills, strategies, resources, and support. Mental health and wellness can vary greatly from one individual to another. People might look like they have it all together, but they could be dealing with overwhelming, internal challenges. Consider Alex, who excels academically but has been silently struggling with anxiety about his upcoming exams. At night, worry consumes him, disrupting his sleep and clouding his thoughts. On days when the pressure feels unbearable, he struggles to keep it together. After a particularly tough exam, Alex managed to hold himself together until he reached the safety of his home, where he confided in his mother. She comforted him by explaining that mental health, much like physical health, encompasses our emotions, thoughts, and moods. She reassured him that it was perfectly normal to experience a range of feelings, from sadness and frustration to joy and anger. Recognizing the signs of stress in her son, she advised him to find strategies to help him decrease his feelings of stress and tension. Heeding her suggestion, Alex found solace in a warm drink and a favorite movie, which significantly lifted his spirits. What are your strategies for managing difficult situations and big feelings? Have a look at this list and think about what helps you. Morning routines are often the hardest for Alex. Despite feeling overwhelmed, he pushes through, though as the day progresses, his anxiety intensifies, making schoolwork nearly impossible at times. It wasn't until his friend Sophie shared her struggles with stress that Alex felt comfortable talking about his challenges. While the strategies Sophie suggested didn't solve everything, 
sharing his feelings was an important step. Alex also decided to get support from a school counselor who explained that some mental health challenges are more persistent, altering our perceptions and behaviors, and can prevent us from pursuing our goals. This was a revelation for Alex, helping him feel less isolated. Encouraged to join a school activity, he joined the swim team, discovering that physical activity could be a therapeutic outlet. Alex learned valuable lessons about mental health. It's okay to seek help. It's beneficial to share your struggles. And it's important to engage in activities that foster well-being. Finding what brings you joy is crucial whether it's through sports, writing, reading, or other hobbies. Alex also learned that being aware of coping strategies and using them when he struggles with his mental health can help him feel calmer and more confident in dealing with school and life challenges. Self and emotional awareness is important in understanding, accepting, and expressing yourself. Developing interests, passions, and strengths can help motivate you to bounce back from adversity and deal with bad days. Having trusted adults and support in school and life can improve your well-being. Being a member of clubs, associations, and teams can increase your feelings of community, connection, and belonging. Remember, if you're ever on the listening end, offer a supportive ear without judgment. There's no need to have all the answers, but being there for someone can make a difference. Building a supportive community is an important way to improve mental health. Making meaningful connections with your family, friends, peers, and other members of your community can help you feel like you belong, safe and secure, free to express your thoughts and feelings on issues that are important to you. Talking about mental health shouldn't be a taboo. It's part of all our lives. By talking openly and honestly about challenges in life, we can learn to take better care of each other. So some resources that we have, these are three mental wellness workbooks and they're ha with hands-on activities and they're, they use the best practices in mental health and wellness, including social emotional learning, uh, cognitive behavior therapy, CBT, and dialectical behavior therapy. And uh, they're great resources for students of all ages, for families working together with their children, and for educators in schools across Canada. So building awareness begins... <laughs> So building awareness of yourself and your emotions is really important for uh, knowing your warning signs when you're struggling, knowing what to do. And it's learning more about your personal qualities, your skills, what you're good at, your values, what's important to you your goals and priorities, what you want to do this week, this year, in the next five years, your interests, motivations, your health, uh, your needs, all of those kinds of things are part of self-awareness. Building emotional awareness is also important. And we have a booklet called The Feelings Wheel, where you can really build uh, awareness of feelings, thoughts, and behaviors. And you can see the wheel on the right. That's what they they um, are. What it's showing here is feelings and how it can connect to different kind of behaviors you might have. Getting support is also important.
So just as they showed you in the video, you can think about the uh, people around you who provide support in different ways. We have a booklet called the Education Support Team, and that can really help uh, identify the key supports in your school, in your community, that can be um, really vital for student success. And um, the people who might be on your support team are definitely you and your family, people in the school, trusted adults, the principal, um, uh, teachers that you work well with together, special education teacher or resource teacher, um, and other kinds of uh, um, uh, professionals in the school. Could also include uh, outside uh, healthcare professionals in, in the community. What you want to identify are the names of uh, the people, the support people around you in the school when they're available and some key um, highlights of what uh, different ways that they can help you. You also want to identify the supports in the school and these are in different books of Youth Mental Health Canada. And then you want to take action. <laughs> So Sources of Strength, the Mental Wellness Workbook, gives lots of great examples for building coping skills and strategies. Um, also, um, thinking about the kinds of thoughts that you have every day and um, which thoughts are helpful or which thoughts get in the way of uh, you building your mental health and wellness. We have a booklet called um, Ants, Automatic Negative Thoughts, that has lots of great hands-on activities to help you with that. So, it, for example, one of the activities is thinking, you know, some of the thought traps that we have every day, negative self-talk, I'm not good enough, I can't do it, it's always my fault, I'm, a, you know, all kinds of neg negative self-talk. And we can reframe that thinking to uh, think more positive, more uh, with coping statements or other strategies that we can use. Also building a self-care toolkit and thinking about what kinds of um, aids or support or strategies you can use for your toolkit. What helps you when you're struggling, when you're having a bad day. And when you're having a bad day, you want to have an action plan. So what are the warning signs that you notice or maybe other people are giving you feedback about um, that, you know, seem to be having a bad day. What helps you? Maybe what doesn't help you? So if people say or do certain things, it might make it difficult for you, it might um, you know, increase your bad feelings. And if these things don't help, how can people support you? So concrete um, strategies that people can use. Developing a mental wellness action plan is really important for all students. This booklet has lots of great strategies, lots of great ideas. And what you're trying to do is um, build a, a wellness plan so that when you're struggling, you're aware of, it, of your warning signs, but also you're aware of the support around you, strategies you can use to help yourself. So you don't wait for a crisis. Um, we also have a booklet on stress management, different strategies to manage when you're feeling overwhelmed with stress. There's lots of stress in students' lives. And here's some different examples of stressors. And looking at different times of the day that uh, might be difficult for you to manage stress. So I ho hope all of these resources that we have, um, that you are more aware of resources, that there's lots of great 
um, information and strategies and support around you and that you'll make use of those um, whether you're students or family members or in the school community. So all the best for a wonderful school year. Follow us on social media. There's lots of important information. We wish you all the best. We're here to support you.